Hey you guys, it's me, K91. I'm back with another video. And uh, before I do this little rant or whatever I'm about to do about Nintendo, first thing I wanted to state was that um, the reason why I haven't been making videos is because I had two asthma attacks um, last week, or the week before, or I think it was last week. But uh, yeah, I had two asthma attacks. Had to go to a doctor and um, they prescribed me with some medication. They gave me an inhaler and they gave me some prednisone. And they told me to use this four pumps a day. I mean, at least two pumps every four hours. And then they told me to take prednisone for uh, twice every day because it's supposed to be a steroid for your lungs. So I'm taking all of these med medications every day and I feel like I'm not getting better. Um, the first couple of days I felt good, but like later on throughout the week I started to feel like my chest was starting to tighten up. So I went back to the doctor today. Come to find out that prednisone, it actually has a really bad withdrawal um, thing. As far as like when you go into withdrawal, um, that's when the side effects really kick in. So it'll make your lungs feel like they're like two bricks inside of there. So I cannot be taking no more prednisone, man. I'm done with that. And hopefully whenever this stuff wears off, I, I'll be fine. So right now I still got tightness in my chest. But I still think it's from that prednisone. They ran the uh, x-rays. They said that I'm okay. So I guess we're good. I got my little band from the doctor and... They gave me a shot. I don't know if I can actually pull it out of my arm. Um, let's see. They gave me a shot. So, yeah. Your boy Casey is still hanging in there. But, uh, enough with that. Okay, let's get to the real video. Uh, sorry that you guys probably are worried about me, but anyways... Let's talk about Nintendo. Okay, first of all, a lot of people are saying, okay, Nintendo lost a whole bunch of money. Which they did. They lost like $1.3 billion. Okay, you know, and a, lot, a lot of people saying this is the end of Nintendo. And you know what I have to say about that? It's basically their fault. They did it to themselves. And it's not that they can't get themselves out of it, because they can. Here's why. First of all, you not local Nintendo not localizing games like Xenoblade and The Last Story and uh yeah sorry about that uh, the video just cut off when I was just getting right into the video but like I was saying you had 3D graphics that weren't wasn't really hardly used to its fullest potential like um um like games like The Sims 3 that was terrible okay. The graphics should have been on par with the GameCube. If you can hold 4 gigabytes, and the uh, freaking Nintendo Wii can hold just about 8, or just about um, double of that, you should be able to do GameCube graphics. Because I think GameCube only used like a couple of gigs, and hardly not even that. You know what I'm saying? So, The Sims content was very robust. Uh, electronic arts really didn't put that much effort into the system, and that's not Nintendo's fault. That is the third party's public. There is the third party publisher's fault. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about some other stuff. Um, the lack of content, whereas you're able to message people. They finally got the update that's coming out later this month. That's nice. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to update and you know chat with your friends, and will not fully chat with them, but you'll be able to at least exchange friend messages with your own friends. I mean, I had like, at least, I had the 3DS since day one. So I've been having it ever since like March or May, whenever it came out. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I wasn't able to message like the Black Baron or uh, game reviews, it, it was killing me. And half of the KC site members that were already on my site, I couldn't even message them. And I already have them as my friends. We're sitting up here chatting in the chat room when we could have been chatting on the 3DS. You get what I'm saying? So, out of the box, the content was very robust. And you get what I'm trying to get right now. You know what I'm saying? 
a lot of people saying, oh man, you know, I don't know why Nintendo lost that much money. They screwing themselves over. You know what I'm saying? It was partially the developer's fault because they didn't have 100% confidence within the system. Even though, you know, the DS was very successful at what it did. And, um, they wouldn't, in Nintendo, I guess they were just too cocky, you know, coming from the Wii, you know, and coming from the Nintendo DS, which sold zillions. But you have to leave the, um, that in the past and go forward. Right now, they're trying to sell the 3DS at 170 at a bargain price. They're not even using the tray line, look inside, because, you know, half of the 3D games aren't even up up to par like I said um, at the beginning other reasons why Nintendo is really not um, getting that much money rolling in you know the reason why they lost billions of dollars let's see um, I already said the localization of games the failure attempt with the Nintendo 3DS and like them not really listening to their fans not that much they don't really listen to them they just you know, okay, you know, I'm going to just go with the flow. Like I said, when they localize video games, they just go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> when we're looking for games, you know, we're actually looking for these games and looking for these titles. None of the developers that work with Nintendo aren't looking at us. And not even Nintendo is not even looking at us. Hey, Rezzy Visame, you know, he's supposed to be the president of uh, Nintendo of America, and he doesn't even really know what he's doing over here. So, you know, you just kind of got to think about it like that. And all the robust stuff as far as, like, the online and all this other stuff. Like, for example, why didn't Capcom... I know this is not Nintendo's fault. Again, I'm kind of, you know, bashing on it a little bit, but why didn't Capcom put Monster Hunter Try for the Nintendo 3DS online? I mean, we don't play local play for Monster Hunter, and people know that, and I don't understand. Yeah, another thing, with Star Fox, why wasn't that online? I know that the developers need to put more time and more polish into the game, and we would have been waiting for a long time. But, you know, they shoved it in our face at E3 that these games were going to be ready, you know, on time. And if they were going to be ready on time, then they should have been polished enough. But with that said, going back to Monster Hunter Try, Capcom, you know, making Nintendo look bad. On the other hand, you know, they're not doing nothing with the online system. You know what I'm saying? It's no online. Capcom yet trolls again. You know, they troll with Mega Man. They troll with, um, they troll with Monster Hunter Try. They troll with, uh, Resident Evil, the Mercenaries 3D. You know, cutting half of the game off. And then selling it for $40. They trolled again by having one save file. And yet they troll yet again when they release Resident Evil for the Nintendo 3DS for 50 bucks. Now that is some bull crap. I will find some way to pirate that game. You mark my words. I will find some way to pirate that game. I mean not like fully pirate. But you know I will put. <laughs> that's people laughing upstairs. I will put a used game or something to knock that price down to $40. I'm not going to literally pirate it, but I'm going to find a way to knock that price down. You best believe. But anyways, it's just, you know, Nintendo screwing it up for themselves, not localizing games, not really listening to the fans that much. And then you got people that's third-party publishers that are actually making Nintendo look bad. Even worse, by not putting games online. Or not polishing games that are supposed to be in 3D. You know, like Tetris. And, um, well, I can't even say Tetris because Nintendo actually did that one. Um, Sims. Um, what else? Rayman. You know, it was a couple of games that they did for it they didn't polish it well enough it was like little games that you could actually find on a ds heck mario 64 ds looks have more much better than majority of the games that are on the nintendo 3ds's launch okay besides super street fighter 4 3d you know what i'm saying 
anyways, I'm just ranting along. Um, also, I would like to let you guys know that I'll be going to a midnight lunch tonight. Tonight, pick up Modern Warfare 3, but I will be picking up Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. I cannot wait to play that game. I mean, even with my dull hand from this, I'm still going to be playing Metal Gear Solid because I love that game. I will be all three of them. And um, I'm just going to post this video today and expect that to be coming out sometime this week because I may edit it depending on how much footage I get. And with that said, your boy's doing all right. I may have a little bit of problems with my chest a little bit because of the stupid prednisone uh, withdrawal symptoms but and uh, side effects or whatever, but I'll be good. With that said, see you guys later. Expect more vids, but at the same time, don't expect too many until I get better. Peace. The, some about the towers or something like that, I forget what it's called, they didn't localize those games. Those games were in English, already in the UK or in Australia or whatever, in Europe, and they still didn't bring it over here. I really don't understand why they didn't bring it over here. Um, the lack of content with the Nintendo 3DS, oh my gosh. If you guys think that the Nintendo 3DS was worth 250 that is bull crap. I mean, like, when you first got it, it was like a DS. You know, at first you thought it was going to be worth it because of the content that they kept on shoving in your face at E3. I mean, they kept on saying that the 3D is going to be amazing, everything is going to be amazing, the online is going to be more awesomely than awesomer, and that you're going to be able to communicate with your friends and see what they're doing online. But out of the box, you hardly had anything that considered that to be the high point or the high seller of that system. When you got the system, 